Have you been experiencing certain things in life that have made you feel like giving up? Sometimes, life can indeed be confusing and overwhelming. Things will happen now and then, tossing you here and there, and you wonder, what's the meaning of life? Beloved, God is beckoning you today to trust Him even when life doesn't make sense. He knows what's best for you and will work it out for your good. But how can you trust God when nothing seems to be working? Before we continue, if this is your first time coming across this channel, subscribe. God wants to teach you how to trust Him even when life doesn't make sense. So, endeavor to follow this video to the end. The Bible says, God works everything out for good for those who love Him. But the truth is that sometimes it's hard to see this, especially when facing difficulties. At this point, it feels like God is far away, and you can't understand what He's doing. The story of Joseph in the Bible gives a clear understanding of this. This young boy became a slave, thanks to his brothers, just because he had dreams. But thank God for Joseph's faith and trust in God amid the toughest times of his life. Even when his life had no meaning, he kept holding on, and God eventually vindicated him. Another wonderful example is that of Job, a wealthy young man with a beautiful family who became a victim of the devil's schemes. For several years, his life made no sense, but he never let go of God's hands. In the trying times of his life, he made a bold declaration saying that even if God takes his life, You'll still hope in him if a man who exists yet not living could say this. Can you declare this beloved? It shows that trusting God isn't about understanding everything. It's simply about having faith even when you can't make meaning out of what's happening. If your life looks anything like these two men or worse, you need to trust God and watch him do the impossible. Let him turn your morning to dancing. But the question is, how can you trust God when life doesn't make sense? Are there ways you can do this? Of course. Number 1. Surrender all to God and let go. There are still people today who argue the idea of surrendering their all to God. They argue it all through, especially in the difficult seasons of their lives. But whether you're one of them or not, God is calling on you to put all your sorrows at His feet and relax. Do you know that when you do this, your joy and peace increases? Surrendering all to God means letting go of the need to control every aspect of your life. You might have had control over some aspects of your life in the past, from your relationships to your career and the like. That is why life feels so exhausting and often leads to more stress and anxiety. But today, you need to hand over the wheel of your life to Jesus. Wouldn't you love just to sit and watch God do it all for you. Don't forget that God has the divine blueprint of your life. He created you, after all, and He knows all there is to know about you. Release your grip on the reins and allow Him to take the lead. But the truth is that this act of surrender isn't such an easy thing. James 4, 7 says, Submit yourselves, then, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. This is a call to surrender your all to God, even when it doesn't make sense. This is an act of humility acknowledging that God is in control. This gives you an upper hand over the devil, who seems to make your life difficult. The enemy desires to see you doubt God's goodness and sovereignty. He wants you to believe that your life is in your hands and your limited inability. But when you surrender to God, it's like declaring that your life is safe. This puts you in a position of strength and victory over the enemy. When you do this, the enemy loses his grip on you, and his influence on you decreases. Surrendering to God makes the devil look like the lion that was in the den with Daniel. He'll see you but won't be able to harm you. As beautiful as surrendering to God sounds, it isn't so easy. It takes courage, faith, and trust. You have to let go of your fears, doubts, and worries and trust that God has everything under control. You must believe that He is good, even when life doesn't make sense, and that He loves you unconditionally.
but this isn't something you do once and go to rest. It is a continuous process. A daily choice to watch God manifest Himself in your life. Doing this allows you to experience God's glory even in the difficult seasons of your life. His guidance, wisdom, and strength become your daily testimony. And He makes you more aware of His presence and His love, which stir up peace and joy in your life. So, whenever you feel like your life doesn't make sense, try surrendering all to God and letting go. Trust that He has a plan, even when you can't see it. Let this knowledge bring you peace as you wait on Him for a positive turnaround. Number 2. Pray, study God's Word, and rest in His presence. These three practices are like a soothing balm to your soul when life seems to be falling apart. They help you trust in God's promises for your life. Prayer is an act of communication with God, a way of pouring out your heart and mind to Him. When you pray, you get to talk to God and tell Him about your problems. You're saying that God is bigger than your problems and has the power to help you through them. This is a way of telling God that you need Him because you can't do life on your own. Most times, this is a hard thing to admit, especially when you're used to having things your way. But you have to do it anyway in sincerity and humility. Nonetheless, prayer is more than just asking God for things. It's also about listening to Him and getting to know His view on the issues in your life. The Bible says that you should bring your requests before God in prayer in all situations. Even Jesus prayed, so why won't you? Jabez is an example of someone who understood the importance of prayer in the trying times of his life. This young man's name meant sorrow. This came as a result of his mother's pain during his birth. He faced hardship for a great part of his life until he turned to God. He cried out to God in 2 Chronicles 4. 10, saying, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. If God had heard Jabez's heart cry, then why wouldn't he attend to yours? He's waiting for you to approach him with sincerity of heart. That is why he said you should ask and you'll receive. You haven't received it because you're yet to ask. When you pray, it is easier to see things from God's perspective and understand His way of thinking. That's when things start to make sense, even when they don't. Yes, this is counterintuitive, but it's the truth. When you begin to study God's Word, you are brought into the limelight of who God is. The Bible is a guide and an instruction manual for life. It's where you get a deeper understanding of God's nature and how He works. It is in the Bible that you get to see and truly understand God's faithfulness in the past and present and how He intervened in the lives of His children, like the Israelites and Ruth, amongst others. Ruth's life was one marked with difficulties and uncertainties. She was a foreigner and a widow without a child in a patriarchal society. Amid all these, she trusted in God and His sovereignty, even when things didn't make sense. Seeing her level of trust, God divinely connected her to bowls. And God used their union to turn her life around. When you study God's Word, you learn about His character, love, and faithfulness. You can see examples of how He worked in the lives of others and how He's brought them through difficult times. Other examples include Lee, David, Daniel, and the like. Seeing God's hand at work in these people's lives will strengthen and encourage you to trust God the most. You'll begin to see that God consistently does good from one generation to the next. When you've built a strong prayer and Bible study life, you're now ready to rest in the presence of your loving Father. This is where you can find peace. Nonetheless, resting in God's presence isn't just about sitting still. It's about actively trusting and waiting on God. That's when you start to feel the weight of your problems lifting off your shoulders. Only then can you boldly face whatever life throws your way, knowing God is backing you up. So, when your life seems meaningless, pray like Jabez, study God's Word, and rest in His presence. As you do this, 
Trust that even when you can't see what's ahead, your sure God is making every crooked path straight. In what other way can you trust God? Number 3. Always try to view the positive side of every situation. When life doesn't make sense, it's easy to get caught up in negative thoughts and emotions. But, what makes the difference is when you try to view the positive side of things. Try to see it from a different perspective than the obvious. This isn't a way of ignoring what is. Rather, it is you making a conscious decision to focus on the good aspects of your circumstances. This is better than allowing your problems to weigh you down. This mindset helps you trust God more instead of complaining. At this moment, you begin to speak positivity and declare wellness into your life. Make daily confessions that it is well with your soul even when not. Speak prosperity into your life even when people see you're lacking. Always declare that you're strong and healthy. This is because the blood of Jesus flows through your veins. When you do all these, you shift your perspective from despair to hope. You begin to see your challenges as opportunities to learn, grow, and develop. This makes you more like Christ and strengthens your relationship with God. 1 Peter 2, 9 10 says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. If God brought you out of darkness, no dark situation can hold you back. You've received mercy and have obtained freedom from oppression. So, live like one who's no longer a slave but a joint heir with Christ. Number 4. Choose to focus on the future rather than the unpleasant present. When life doesn't make sense, it's natural to get stuck in the present moment, worrying about what's going on and feeling overwhelmed. At this point, your mind is in a cycle of anxiety, wondering how you'll get through this difficult time. Then, fear creeps in. This is why you must focus on what lies ahead rather than dwell on the present misery. By doing so, you're turning your eyes away from the dark clouds and fixing them on the sunshine. You're letting go of worry and anxiety about what's happening right now. And you're trusting that God has good things in store for you. This requires a great deal of faith. When the devil whispers, you'll never find your way out. You're doomed to wander forever. Let your faith counter it with God's word. When things in your life are confusing, scary, or don't make sense, you have a choice to make. You can choose to be afraid, worried, and doubtful. That's the option of fear. Or, you can choose to trust and be hopeful. That's the faith option. Proverbs 4, 25 says, Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Look beyond the present moment and remember that your life on earth is just a small part of your journey with God. It's like looking at the big picture and seeing that the struggles you're facing are a tiny part of a beautiful story God is writing. Number 5. Live according to God's commands. The Bible says that without holiness, no man will see God. But do you also know that you need to be holy to trust God? When you look at the lives of many people in the Bible who trusted God, you'll see that they had one thing in common, holiness. If you're living in sin, God won't regard you, talkless of answering your petitions. It is not because he hates you. It's because you're carrying something that he despises. God hates sin, and he can't walk with anyone who lives a reckless life. Joseph lived holy even when it was difficult. How difficult is it for you to live according to God's commands? Living in a perverse generation isn't an excuse. There are still people in today's world who are upright, so why can't you? If you want God to intervene in your situation, you need to obey Him. Beloved, when you look around, and it seems everything is falling apart, don't panic. Don't even pace around looking for an easy way out. There's just one way that's sure and reliable, and that's God. Choose to trust Him even when you don't understand. That's all He wants you to do. 
Now, if someone asks you why you have unwavering trust in God regardless of the difficulties in your life, what would you say? Do you truly know why you need to trust Him? Number 1. God knows what's best for you. As a child of God and a joint heir with Christ, God knows what's best for you. He is the one writing your story, and He knows what's going to happen next. This is one of the reasons why you should trust Him even when life doesn't make sense. He loves you and desires the best for you, so His plans are for good and not evil. God knew what was best for Abraham and Sarah. That's why He urged them to keep trusting Him even though they were childless for years. Even though it seemed impossible to make Abraham the father of many nations in his old age, God still made it possible. Through his only son Isaac, Abraham birthed many generations to date. God's wisdom is infinite, and he knows the end of a matter from its beginning. He knows what's best for you. Do you know why? He has a complete understanding of your strengths, weaknesses, and potential. He is in control of all things, and He is sovereign. He also has your best interest at heart. Isaiah 55, 8, 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. God indeed allowed such unpleasant situations to befall you, but it's all for a reason. So, no matter what, continue trusting Him, and you'll see the brighter side of your life surface in due time. Number 2. He's God, nothing is too hard for Him. This reflects God's omnipotence and limitless capabilities. It means that God is all-powerful, all-knowing, and always able. Nothing is impossible for Him, and nothing is beyond His control. He is the one who spoke the universe into existence and made you who you are. This is another reason why you need to trust Him. David experienced God's sovereign power over his life. He moved from being a shepherd boy to becoming a king. But in the middle of these two events, he faced a series of threats from King Saul. This left him running from one place to another for protection. That is why he declared that. His help came only from God. Hannah also trusted God through the tough moments of her life. When it seemed there wasn't any hope for her to have a child, she pushed harder. She endured the insults people threw at her and continued trusting God. In the end, God rewarded her with Samuel and other wonderful children. God can move that mountain of barrenness that has made you an object of mockery. God can heal and perfect that sickness that has incessantly rid you of your finances. Your human understanding does not limit God. He is not even restricted to what you think is possible or reasonable. If He says it, trust that He can also do it. God is able to trust Him even when life doesn't make sense. Number 3. God doesn't forsake those who trust Him. The Bible says that God rewards those who seek Him diligently. You can trust God because He will never abandon you or leave you to face your challenges alone. This assurance is strongly rooted in his character as a faithful and loving father, a father who desires a deep and intimate relationship with each of his children. This promise is a rock-solid foundation for your trust. It reminds you that God is your constant companion, your refuge, and your hope. You can always cling to this promise, knowing that God will never forsake those who trust him. So, instead of wallowing in self-pity, why not trust God? This trust will bring you peace, hope, and strength amid life's challenges. Dear child of God, there are several benefits to trusting God. When you trust Him, you're on the receiving end, and the glory goes to Him. So, what are these benefits? Trusting God sets you free from the grip of fear and anxiety. When you trust God, it is because you recognize Him as your provider protector, and guide. This trust allows you to release your fears and worries, knowing that God is in control. Of course, why will you still hold on to fear when the all-powerful God is protecting you? You'll live with a sense of freedom and liberty, 
free from the weight of anxiety and fear. You no longer have to be captive to the fear of the unknown, failure, rejection, and the future. You can now face challenges with confidence and hope, knowing that God is with you. You're set free to live a life that's fulfilled and meaningful. The worry about what to eat or wear will no longer cripple you. The Bible says that you should trust in God with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. But do you know the reward of this? God will direct your path. Trust in God grants you access to His wisdom and guidance in your decision-making processes, whether it be decisions in your relationship, academics, career, health, or the like. God makes it available for you. When you trust God, you can seek Him for direction, knowing that He will never lead you astray. This way, you can avoid the pitfalls of self-reliance and human wisdom and rely on God's wisdom. Trusting God gives you strength and courage in the face of adversity, enabling you to stand firm. The Bible says that the Lord will fight for you, and you'll have your peace. When you trust in God, you can be sure that He will fight for you. He said He'll contend with anyone who contends with you. If anyone rises against you, they'll fall for your sake. Remember that God didn't give you the spirit of fear but of power and a sound mind. If you have this courage, the devil will not defeat you. The word fear means false evidence appearing real. This means that what you're afraid of doesn't even exist. It is just the devil using your problems to play tricks on your mind. So, keep trusting God and watch him strengthen you and give you courage. Trusting God is the key to unlocking a deeper relationship with him. When you trust God, you create space for him to work in your life. This makes you more receptive to His love, grace, and mercy. As you trust Him, you begin to experience His presence in a comforting way. This relationship with God brings a sense of intimacy and personal connection. It allows you to see God as a loving Father who desires a close and personal relationship with you instead of seeing Him as a deity whom no one can approach. You'll get to know and understand how much God longs to fellowship with you. This goes a long way to deepen your faith and dependence on Him. Abraham enjoyed an intimate relationship with God because he always trusted God. The Bible says that Abraham had faith in God, so they referred to him as a righteous man. This did not happen in a day. Abraham always followed God's instructions even when they seemed not to add up. Whenever God said go, Abraham moved without looking back. This made God fulfill his promises to him and prosper him beyond measure. Beloved Psalm 37, 4, 6 says, Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. What are the desires of your heart? Why haven't you laid them at the feet of Jesus? He said you should come to him after you've labored and are heavily laden, and he'll give you rest. Don't you want to experience this rest, free from the chaos of the world? When life gets tough and things seem unusually difficult, remember that you have a loving Father who desires to help you out of every daunting situation of your life. As long as you continue to live according to his will, you can have the confidence in him to do for you what no man can do. No matter how long it takes, as long as you've placed your trust in God, keep on waiting. Patience is a key element in your walk with God, and you can't afford to trade it for anything. God will always be with you, to guide, support, and love you. Trust Him even when life doesn't make sense. Let us pray. Dear loving Father, the omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent God, I worship you because you're God. I thank you for your mighty hand at work in my life, always protecting and providing for me. I am grateful to you because you're always very intentional about me. Thank you for this great opportunity to learn from you today. I exalt your name forever. Merciful God, I ask that you please forgive me for every sin I've committed. Please cleanse me and make me worthy to approach you today. 
Thank you, merciful God, for your forgiveness. I come before you today with a heart that's struggling to understand. I acknowledge that so much in my life right now doesn't make sense. I feel lost and confused as if I'm walking through the wilderness with no destination. But amid this uncertain state of my life, I want to trust you. Gracious Lord, I know you are a sovereign and good God. I believe in your promise to work all things together for me. I also know that your ways are higher than mine, and your thoughts are higher than mine. But I admit that sometimes I struggle to see this truth. There are so many unanswered questions in my heart, and I trust you for answers. Whenever I'm tempted to doubt your goodness or wonder if you're really in control, please remind me of your unfailing love for me. You are always working, moving, and guiding me toward your perfect plan. So I choose to trust you, even when life doesn't make sense. I choose to believe that you are sovereign and good. I know that you'll turn every ugly situation around. I choose to rest in your presence, to find peace in your love, and to hope in your promises. Righteous God, please help me to see beyond my present circumstances. Help me to see your hand at work, to sense your presence in my life and to trust you with all my heart. You are a God who is faithful, trustworthy, and good. And I will trust you, no matter what. Help me never get tired of praying and learning more about you. Give me the grace to always pray until something happens. Sometimes, I get impatient, but please, Lord, don't let go of my hands. May I never look elsewhere for an easy way out. My hope and trust are in you alone. You're my shield and buckler, my ever-present help in time of need. I have faith that you'll come through for me even now. I pray for wisdom, Lord, to understand your ways. I declare wholeness to my life and my entire being. The devil has no hold over my life. I am made in the image and likeness of my Father, so nothing can weigh me down. Please give me grace to rest in your love, for you are my rock, my refuge, and my redeemer. Thank you, righteous Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If this video blesses you, do well by liking, dropping a comment, and subscribing to this channel. See you in the next one.